one. Hi everyone, this is Christine Jossi of Mail Something Pretty and today I want to show you these really cool luminaries that you can make. They awesome. And so um, a little tea light will fit right inside. I don't know if you'll get the spectrum of how it works because it's kind of bright sunshine where I am. But this fits right inside. You can kind of see the, hopefully you can see it lumen up. So it's just really beautiful. You can um, do them tabletop or on a mantle, or um, you can even make the ribbon a little bit longer here and tie them on the tree, right? You can just tie them a little bit longer and then they can t sit on a tree or on um, some sort of hanging thing. Um, so they're fun. So I'm gonna show you how you make them. And this is not my original idea, although I did tweak a few things. Um, and I had the woman's name on a different piece of paper. She's a UK demonstrator, and I think her last name might be Otterman, something like that. And um, I saw them, I saved the picture, I loved it, I looked it up, and um, but I did make mine a little different than, than her. So I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you why as we go along. So this is a club project. Um, so if you're part of club, hello, all your pieces are in here. And so I think I'm gonna put them on here so I can see them, because I have a lot of white here. So I have, you have your base, your two bases rather. You have two different size vellums, and then you have some fun stuff, some trees and birds and branches and a ribbon. So I'm gonna show you how to put it together. And if you are watching and are not part of club, I have the measurements here to show you. All right, so um, you have two bases, right? So the, the, the thicker one, this one goes around and the thinner one goes around that way. So the big base is um, three inches wide by 11 long. And so this is one of the changes. The woman used a 12 by 12 piece of paper, which I didn't have, so I had to adjust the measurements that way. Um, and so you're gonna score them, which mine are already scored, but you have your three by 11. So you're gonna score them, looking at it in landscape, um, at one and a half inches, four and three quarter inches, six and a quarter inches, and nine and a half inches. So yours are pre-scored already for you, but that's where you're gonna score them. Then you're going to flip it for the short side, and then you're going to do a half inch on both sides. And that is another place where I changed it from the original one. Hers were a quarter inch thick, thin, <laughs> and I thought they were a little bit thin. Um, so I tweaked it for you. All right, so, and then the other little piece is, and again, yours will be solid white. I already cut the windows out. Um, the other little piece is one and a half by eight and a half, which is here. And you're gonna score it this way. You're gonna score it at three and a quarter and five and a quarter. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. So then after I um, scored them, I used the rectangle thinlets in here. So I did it in this window here and in this window here and so forth here and here. The one that she used, and I, I couldn't really put my hands on the catalog, although I know it's in there, it's in the holiday catalog. It's a die and it already has a rectangle, but then it has snowflakes already in it, but it's all one piece. It lends itself perfectly for this project. And then this side was um, another, a thinner rectangle with I think like ornaments hanging. I just, I just couldn't find what dies it was, but it lends itself perfectly. But I improvise, so I use the rectangles. All right, so next step, after you have um, cut, scored, and windowed, you're gonna take scissors and you're gonna notch. Um, let's see. Actually, let me move this so you might be able to see it better. Just afraid, like on the white on white, it might be hard to see. All right, this one you're gonna leave alone. That one's fine. This one, you're gonna notch. I did like a little triangle. I'm gonna cut out this rectangle. Or you can cut the rectangle out first 
like that. And then you can notch it. Doesn't matter. So you're going to do that at the top sides and you're going to do that on the bottom sides so they're going to look identical. But I need to cut on the line. Here we go. Okay, so it's going to look like that. So we just cut these pieces off. Where were they? We cut those, the top, and we cut the bottom. Now we're going to cut these two inner rectangles. Same thing. We're going to put notches, or if you want to cut the rectangle first, and then make notches. The notches just make it easier when we fold it and glue it together. So you're going to do, cut that out, and you do to the other side. And if you need to pause the video while you do this, go right ahead. All right. So those pieces are off. So that's what it looks like. And I'm just realizing, because I haven't mailed your projects yet, I think I actually have to do that for you because of the next step. So you may see, you might be like, what are you doing? It's already done. Okay, so, but if, you, if you're not part of the club, you're gonna do that. And the next part is I'm gonna fold, doesn't really matter which side. I'm gonna fold on the score lines. Well, it's a good thing I didn't mail your projects yet. because today's Veterans Day and the mail is closed. All right, so this is a tag topper, or actually it's called hmm, Delightfully Topper. I forget what it's called, but there's a couple different ones. Some are retired, this one happens to be current. You can use any of them. And you, the reason why I fold these in is because you have three layers um, or levels to cut. So the biggest opening is two inches. So this is two inches. So I'm gonna slide this in like that till it stops and I'm gonna cut and it makes that design now if you wanted to you can put it in with these up or down it really doesn't matter so you're gonna need both sides so I'll do it this side just want to put it in there till it stops and if you're not sure flip it over and make sure that you can see all of the white paper in there so that is there Gently pull it out, okay? So that I don't need any of these scraps. I'm gonna get rid of them. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna fold on this side and this side. So you, you kind of get the idea of that is going to be your lantern. And then we have these ones we're going to fold. There are there is a right and wrong way for the stitch marks. So you want the right the you know, you want to look at the, the prettier stitch marks. So this I'm going to put this cuz I'm going to use glue. This piece is going to get glued to this piece. Oh, nope. Stop. We're not going to do that. We need to put our vellum on first, much easier. Okay, so you have two sets of vellum. You have the wider, they're both the same length, wider. So um, two, so you, the thinner ones which go on this one, actually this is the thicker one, excuse me. Um, one and seven eighths by three and an eighth. And then the other one is one and three eighths by three and an eighth. So those are going to get put on before we put the box together. I'm just gonna put some glue just really on the two longer sides. My glue's almost empty. There we go. I'm gonna put it so it covers the window. You don't want it to go right to the fold. You want it a little bit above that folded because when you fold it up, if it was on the fold, it might be harder to fold. And that's why I made it like the, not quite three and a quarter, it's like the three and an eighth so that you don't see it up top. 
So we need to both sides. It's even pretty just like, you know, after we put it together without any of the, um, just with the window there, it's pretty. And then we'll do this one, same thing. Just put glue on two sides. silicon mat is really handy whenever you're using glue um, because if you get glue on your fingers I usually just rub it off and it kind of takes care of it um, or if you, you don't you know it prevents you getting glue on your work surface there's actually other things you can do with it too no I'm gonna figure out how to show you go do a video or Facebook live or something using the silicon mat okay so now we can put them together so we have our little windows covered. So I'm just going to put glue on that bigger base. I'm going to put that on top. I'm just going to make sure when I lift it up it's square. You can also check by looking at it upside down to make sure that it's in alignment. All right so now we're going to close it up. So this is what's helpful about having the thicker um, sides that it's a half inch side versus you have that tiny little quarter inch side and it works because my window is thin enough that you don't see you know you don't want to have it covered so it really it lines up perfectly so I'm going to put some glue on this tab and close that and just pinch it for a few seconds to make sure it sticks Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to show you. I'm going to actually do the, the thinner side. I discovered something at Club last week when we were putting these together. It doesn't really matter which order you do them, but. Okay, I'm going to pinch them. And then if you're having trouble, you can take a bone folder or a ruler or something. You can lay this flat. Easily said than done. Lay it flat and then you can take something and to press it on the inside. And that helps. And then just yep, make sure that it's good. Okay. So then this makes it easier. So I have these two tabs here. I'm going to put the glue on both of them and then close that shut. almost like I need an extra hand and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to flip it upside down just take something that you can press it down just to seal the glue and then you have your box and it's pretty just like that you could leave it just like that or you know if you have um, I don't know something else to stick on it you can but I'm going to show you what I did I made birds and trees so the dies I didn't actually bring up the die, sorry. The, the dies coordinate with this stamp set, the classic cloche. So it has a bunch of things in it, but it has all the different sized trees. It has the tree branches and the birds. It has us an outline for the cloche. It has some um, rolling hills for snow. It's, it's a fun little set. All right, I'm going to start with the branches. So for the branches, I actually use the adhesive strips so you can just pull away again if you're in club just pull away that and then 
you can decide where you want them. So they'll just stick. Obviously they are too long, that's okay. My hands are sticky. Ah, I'm trying to do this on camera, there's a little pressure. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so that peels off. I'm going to put my branches just in opposite directions. And then I'll just trim the excess off. Like that. And then I used, you can either glue or I use dimensionals for my birds. You know, full size fits right on there. So I put one bird here and the other bird on top. Just anywhere on the branches, right? They sit anywhere. Isn't that cute? And so then I, um, you can put your trees wherever you want. I think you have five trees, six trees. All right. When you put some glue on the vellum, it does slide a little bit. So I'm just going to stick it down and then I'm going to check it to make sure it didn't slide out of place in a few minutes because that did happen on one of them. I think I'll pop up the big one. Again, it doesn't matter. Some of mine I glued all the way down, some of them I popped them up. And then you can put... Um, However you like, yeah, see this one kind of slid over. And this side just gets one tree. So the, I'm just checking, they're all good, our sides of our tree. And so then, I, again, for the club I included um, sparkly little sheer ribbon, but I have a little, look at how much I have hardly any left, but this is my third spool of this. I loved the pool party. So I'm just gonna put a little pool party, and then you can see the, all the three colors together of the sheer ribbon. So, you know, you normally you put your candle inside, so I'm just going to do a little knot because I'll have to untie it again to um, to put my candle inside. And here's the black ribbon, again with sparkly on it. The, the um, white and the black, oh no, I think the, I forget, the black and the pool party I think are in the annual catalog and the white is in the holiday catalog. But those are the three colors and they're sheer, they're kind of pretty together. So those are your luminaries. I hope you liked them. I'd be interested to know if you make more of them. Once you get the system down, you know, the scoring and everything, they come together pretty easily and pretty quickly. All right, so let me, let's see, do it this way. You can kind of get an idea of what they look like. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you are not part of my group, um, visit mailsomethingpretty.com. You can sign up for my mailing list and you can check all my social links from that page. And um, again, I have um, club signups coming up. Um, the next round of club starts in December and it runs, my clubs run for six months, which give people either time to take a break or try it out. Um, and some people just keep going on and on and on. Um, the requirements for club are a product order of $30 each month. And then um, someone is a hostess 
for one of the designated months and get those um, host benefits. Plus you get a free class. So either you can come in person and put together these in person or you watch the videos like you just did and put them together that way. But if you have questions, please reach out to me. My email is christine at mailsomethingpretty.com. There's also a link on my website. You can do that. Um, and let me just put this here for one second. I should have done that while I was talking in case you wanted the measurements. I'm not sure if this one's going to go on my blog or not. Um, let's see if I have time. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye.